modify and I actually drilled it out so I could put a longer screw in here. Okay, I didn't show it, but you know, I realized the time lapse went dead, but you can see where I started working on it. And here's how the piece came out. So you can see I got the piece up here and all the wires that used to come across and were running down everywhere. Well, I pulled everything back and actually got it fastened down to one point. And now I have it run through. It's actually some old uh, PEX tubing. So I'm gonna use this as like a conduit and then fasten that up along here. But first I wanna get these nail holes filled in. It might seem like I'm jumping around a little bit, but mainly what my concern right now is I was trying to hit some of the screw holes so I can let them dry. Because you can see I have this conduit laying down on the ground back there that has the wiring in it so I can turn this back on. Because you can see I have it unplugged to turn it off. So right now I'm going to break for lunch, then come back and actually try to finish up more of that through there so I can get it mounted. I had a little pause here because this is the the ones that come that I have a little kit of basically these little clamps that actually hold the pecs in place so what I had to end up doing was go downstairs and modify and I actually drilled it out so I could put a longer screw in here so I have a two and a half inch screw so that way I can actually get it into the studs above because you gotta think the thickness of this and then the half inch of drywall I had nothing going into anything to hold so it just kept falling out so to fix that, just went ahead and made these. All right, now you can see I got my clamps in to hold this PEX tubing that I'm just using as a conduit. So that's all it's gonna be used for. And the wire going through here is just a low voltage wire. It's just for the sensors on the door. That's all it's for. <laughs> 